Okay. Uh, I am... Something is... So, I'm not done with my other editor project yet, but... For right now, I have... I have a different editor project, also inspired by Sebastian Lag. Uh, the... A uh, busy path editor, which is so they so I am in the process of porting the path editor that what his made in Unity to uh, this uh, to P5, which is the language that I'm comfortable with. Not the language, the framework that I'm comfortable with. Let's just say that. Um, so here's how it works. Uh, it's you just move these uh, anchor points around. You can also move the corresponding control points around to change how the curve looks. Shift clicking will create new um, points. So uh, this is what that does. Um, they're locked so that they're a straight line. Like that. I can actually change it though, so, um, this is, so I can change it to a closed path. Um, you can't add new vertices when the path is closed, but, so, so if you want to add new vertices to a closed path, you have to temporarily open it and then add new ones and then close, but... And can you also add new vertices like in the middle of the path or only at the edges? Uh, what, what do you mean? Like... In between? Uh, not, cur not currently. Insert not currently. Anchor points? Not currently. Um, uh, that's the next thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, Anyway, so there are a few control modes. So for example, this will lock them so that it's in a straight line. That's the aligned control mode. So you can see, they're not necessarily opposite each other, but like just in a straight line, which is the default. Um, there's also mirrored, which means they are opposite each other. Free, which means no constraints, so yeah, I, that's the way you can have sharp corners in your path. I'm just going to change it back to a line here. Um, finally, there's automatic, and okay, it gives me some warnings, but uh, they, but there you, the control points are actually just placed automatically. So, um, to try to make the path look smooth. It's a bit herky-jerky sometimes, but, uh, it... It doesn't look that good, but it's fair. <laughs> um, I can also change the look of, uh, look of the path a bit with this control spacing slider. I don't know why, but if you want to set it to all the way to one, you can. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but because that creates these ugly corners. See, if it was zero, you can also set it to zero, which is basically just the same as connecting them up. Um, 0.5 is the default. I kind of like 0.37, which is sort of like a compromise, which uh, joins them at... Looks more hand drawn too. Yeah, just joins them a bit naturally. But yeah, you can change this parameter to uh, get different. But wait, and how did you pull out the handles? The handles? Like, how did you make sure you see the handles? Uh, so you don't actually need to in automatic mode because in automatic mode they're well set automatically. Ah, okay, yeah. That that's the whole point of automatic <laughs> mode. So uh, you have to leave automatic mode to see the, to see be, the yeah. Because so ah. like for 
if you go to a if you go to a manual mo a, a manual mode like this, which is kind of interesting, you can actually see the handles that were set by the automatic mode. Um, it's a great way to train your Beziers as a like a graphic designer or a motion yeah. designer. You want to want to draw some? Try to draw something? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh. usually I'm used to just starting with zero points if I'm using Beziers in yeah. Photoshop or Illustrator. Can, you can move them by clicking them by clicking and dragging. Ah, all right. Yeah. I know that there's this trick of like, how do you draw a heart with just two? Oh look, this is half of the heart. Yeah, two points. So you points. just have to make it closed. Closed. And, and then, then I have to like. Oh, but but oh, it's but, a, no, but yeah, I wanna, you have to, I you have to like, make it free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I do? so yeah. So this is how it works, and now you have to set it to free. Free, and then I can just do this to make a sharp corner. And Move the, same the, on the, other the one. handles automatically, and then I completed the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying something that you wanted to add like an export button or something. That yeah, can... I wanted to add a little export button to export as like a JSON file that I can then import back using some sort of special um, magic, which I don't really know how to write yet. Um, <laughs> into another p5 sketch <laughs> uh, and then i can do interesting things with that path <laughs> so stay tuned i guess yes stay tuned more features coming soon a quick little addendum um just in case you want to know how the automatic algorithm actually works um basically so if you take an anchor point like here then it looks at its two neighbors and it looks so this is anchor point, and it looks at its two neighbors, so these, these two, and it takes the angle between these two lines, so something like this, and then it bisects it, so it looks like that, and it takes the perpendicular, and that's the line along which the two control points are. And the distance from the control point to the anchor is half the distance between the anchors. So these, so this distance is the distance between the anchors, and this distance between the anchor and the control point is half that. Uh, uh, let's look at another example here. So here the angle is this, and we're going to bisect it so it looks like this, and then the perpendicular looks like that. Um, and then the distance uh, this is the distance between the two anchors. This is the distance to the control point. It's half that. If you want to know what the control spacing is for, that's for changing that basically. So it's cheap. So if I go back to automatic mode for a sec and reduce the control spacing, so something like 0.37, I can go to aligned, and then and then you can see that now. This is not half of this distance, but this is 30%, 37% of this distance. So this control spacing is basically like what fraction, what fraction of the distance between the two anchor points is the distance between the control points. So I can then, I can change it to bigger, and now it's really like sticking to that line between the control points. You can see, yeah, the control points are really far away, so it's really like sticking to that line. Um, and, and if I lower the control spacing, then it becomes more like just joining it up. So it's basically like the stickiness to put it in the way of the curve. That's that that was it for this quick little addendum. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye there.